When hello my dear companions and welcome to another unboxing video. Yes, we're back with Baksu. If you don't know what Baksu is, I have unboxed so many of these boxes on camera on this channel because I'm affiliated with Baksu, which is a company who gives you Japanese candy, snacks and tea monthly. So it's like a subscription box where you can get it. And I have a link down to where you can get it. Down in the description down below, you have two different kinds of boxes. You have the standard box and the bigger one, the premium box that I've got. And this is extra big from the usual one, so I'm not sure what's up with that. But let's see. So this is just packed with stuff here. I don't know how I should, I'm gonna show you it. Uh, but first of all, we have a little... This is the folder you get. I'm not gonna give you all the details, I've done that in every single unboxing. We're gonna do this a bit quicker this time. But here you have all the stuff you can get in this box this time around. Look at that. Let's see what the theme is, because each time there is a theme. The theme for... <laughs> this is a May box, by the way. May. So yeah, I'm a bit behind, <laughs> but I haven't had time. All Stars is the theme, though. Let's read about it. Here we go. Box is turning two. Oh, congratulations. We are thrilled to celebrate our second anniversary with you by curating our most popular snacks and teas into this month's All Stars Boxu. Okay, so, okay. Thanks for you. Thanks to you and other wonderful members around the world, Boxu has grown and improved tremendously over the last year. We upgraded our shipping logistics to offer free worldwide shipping from Japan, partnered with Michelin starred chef who curated a Boxu, launched uh, our on-demand snack market and so much more. Our dedication to you to discover the best uh, Japanese snacks is why we worked so hard to partner with local make makers from Okinawa to Kyoshu to Hokkaido. Some of the all-star snacks we have handpicked this month are roots, have roots in traditional Japanese confectionery, while others showcase Japan Japanese artisans adding their flair to more uh, contemporary snacks. Since we first introduced these beloved snacks, we heard your endless request to bring them back. So we hope your taste buds are ready. Oh, so we might recognize some of these from uh, previous months. Let's start. We're gonna start with this one. This is called... Because in here you can also see what it's called and what it's made of and everything. Uh, Okinawa Soba. Uh, this savory deep fried soba noodles. Tossed in Okinawan red pepper. Ooh. Okay. That sounds cool. That sounds really cool. Okay, let's start. Mmm. It really smells like ramen. Like those kind of, you know, those those buckets of ramen you uh, buy and pour hot water in. It really smells like it. Like noodles. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, that's hot. That's really, really freaking good. It tastes like deep fried noodles with hot chili pepper. Next one. Next up is this one, this little small one. And it Good thing that I haven't said before, uh, in this video at least, is that you usually get one, two, three, or four of the same. So you can actually have this kind of one subscription box and share it with one or two other people. Uh, but this is a matcha and white chocolate covered Atsuki beans. Okay, I think that's good after this hot red pepper. We're gonna save the other three. Save the other three. Oh, we have had these before. like small matcha beans. Look at that. We've had these before. I think it was like a couple of months ago. Just pure white chocolate covered with powdered matcha. Mm. Next one. Next up is this one. Okinawa Shinsuko brown sugar. Uh, Shinsuko is a traditional cookie from Okinawa and it's a very popular uh, Souvenir. Uh, you to take just a shortbread cookie. Okay. I, 
I have, as I said, I have unboxed so many of these, but some of these I don't recognize actually. But maybe these are some. Okay, we have a, a lot of them actually, <laughs> but this is one of the packages. The seat. Let's try it out. Oh, that's cute. That's adorable. Hmm. 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 Yeah. That's a normal small cookie, but it really tastes like brown sugar. It's a lot of brown sugar in that cookie. Next one. Next up is the Kinako Mochi. Uh, this is a, a mochi made from pounded 100% Japanese glutinous rice and secret process to transform into a crisp and airy texture. This puffs, these puffs are then finished with dusting of a Kinako powder made by roasting soybeans. The so roasted soybeans on these puffs. Let's try one. Oh! Mmm, soybean. Very, oh, wow, so light. Look at that. Mm. It kind of tastes like cotton candy, but with soybean on the outside. It's so fluffy. So full fluffy. Mm. Pretty much like cotton candy. Next one. Next up, we're not gonna really unbox, and don't re usually unbox this on camera, because this is the tea. Each time you get uh, one, two, or three tea packages. Because uh, that's what I love boxes. Well, you get a specific tea, which is uh, originally from Japan and fits so well with the theme you got in the box. So it fits really well to have together with the snacks. This is a hot horseshoe tea. Refreshing, subtle, and smooth flavor. Nice. I'm going to drink this off camera. Next one. Next up is the sweet potato lunch de chat. Uh, Cat tongue, in French, means this. What, what the heck is it? Or in a chocolate form that resembles the. What? It's commonly baked into square butter, butter cooked with white chocolate filling. Okay, I got four of these. So, let's try. I recognize these, we have had this, these before. Yeah, yeah, look at this. There we go. Butter cookie with white chocolate inside. <laughs> it tastes so much. White chocolate. And butter. And butter. Mm. Next one. Next up is this little hard cookie. Olive oil, salt, senbei, herb and vinegar flavor. This is a rice cracker with olive oil. Senbei herb and vinegar. Okay, I'm not a big fan of vinegar. Oh, that's the vinegar. <laughs> well, let's try, let's try. I'm interested in olive oil and... Mmm, mmm, smells like pizza. Mmm. So oily. Mm. That's why I love the packaging in box because everything feels so fresh. It really tastes like pizza. Next one. Next up is this little small one. White raspberry. Uh, made in Hokkaido. This airy and crisp uh, ri, ri cookie is coated with layer of white chocolate and sprinkled with crushed raspberries. Let's try it out. I got three of these, so... Let's check it out. I recognize this. We have had these before. Like a couple of months ago, possibly. One. Well, I think you recognize this too, if you have seen all the boxes.
pretty much a cracker. <laughs> a airy cracker. With, with a little of white chocolate and raspberry outside. Pretty good. Next one. Next up is the Edamame. Edamame. Senbei. With real Edamame. Ed I'm not how to pronounce that. Edamame? Bits baked into it is cracked. The senbei is made with fine grinding green soybeans. It's peppered with kinako, roasted soybean powder. Strong punch. I got three of these as well. Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. That's the soybean. Yeah, I can taste it. I'll smell it. I can smell it. Look at that. Damn. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Kind of dry, or more like it was so much of just a uh, dry cracker. But I really like the soybean flavor. Next one. Next up is the fruit pound cake. I'm really, really curious about this one. I got two of those. And it's so soft, and I can just see the moisture inside. Damn. Fruit is iconic symbols of the holiday season. It comes to nearly infinite variations. Dried raisins, oranges, cranberries, and figs soaked in syrup. Damn. Let's try it out. Let's open it. Come on. There we go. So moist. Holy hell. It's moist. <laughs> I don't, I don't think you can see, actually see. But that is the moist... pound cake. Or fruit cake. You can see it's just... Mm. That's good. That feels fresh. That feels just nearly... It feels like it was baked yesterday, pretty much. <clears throat> Next one. And the last thing, but the biggest thing in the box, this is a huge package. Ta takoyaki corn puffs. Oh, I have never tasted takoyaki. But it's so popular in Japan, you can see it up here on the picture, kind of. Uh, but they have made them kind of like puffs. Okay, that's cool. Classic Usakan street food, yeah, takoyaki. Or pan fried balls of taku. Yeah, the pan fried balls of octopus. Topped with special sauce. Drizzled with may mayonnaise. And sprinkled with powdered sweet seaweed. Green onions and dried bon bonito flakes. Damn! Come on. That smells good. That smells good. The small puffs. Not really much to see. I really want to taste takoyaki. Oh, that's a good flavor. Very salty. Karen kind of mm. the seaweed the soy sauce oh that's good I think that means this might be my favorite in this box so far that was the last thing hope you enjoy guys check out this check out the box I have links down in the description down below where you can get it yourself or just check it out get the standard box or this premium box that so this was from the May theme <laughs> uh, but each month is so well made and each theme fits so well with the month so check it out leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about this box soup or the specific flavors is this something you would like to try never ever forget to be awesome <laughs>